I love websites that are clean and smooth and highly interactive like the ones you see on awards.com. And to design and develop sites like these, you need to steal from them, figuratively speaking. But where else can you find inspiration for these kind of websites other than awards.com? So today I've compiled all my most used resources so you can also use for your next web project. And I'll also explain how I use these resources in my personal projects as well. And spoiler alert, I will not mention Behance or Dribbble because in my opinion, they suck. And I'll explain why at the end of this video. But anyways, let's dive in. Starting off with a very niche one, minimal.gallery. If you really love clean and minimalist designs like me or you want to keep your projects simple and minimal, then this is the source of inspiration for only minimal websites. They have an endless gallery of websites you can browse from across different industries. But the only shortcoming is that you can't really filter them by industries or UI elements, but still overall a very solid resource. If you're a fan of dark mode websites, then you will love darkmodedesign.com. And as the name suggests, only dark mode websites. For this one, you'll find websites for all kinds of businesses that have their websites in dark mode, from fashion to tech startups, etc. You name it. If you're into designing and developing dark mode websites, I highly recommend this resource. Of course, we cannot go by this video without mentioning awards.com. Everybody's favorites, and you honestly, you cannot go wrong with this one if you want top tier inspiration. What I really enjoy about awards is the diversity in really well designed and developed websites. You will find all kinds of website design styles here. You can also filter by types of businesses or UI elements as well. If you're designing for a certain type of businesses or looking for inspiration for UI elements, such as accordions, menu navigation, scroll interactions, you can find everything here, which is really fantastic. This point is a bit off topic, but one hidden gem that Awards also has is their blogs. You can read case studies of certain websites and really learn about the processes and the tech stack that they use to design and develop the websites, which can be really helpful. However, if you want inspiration sources that are more well-established and has good user experience, you'll love referral.design or referral, 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 referral.design. Referral curates strong UI and UX elements and websites from renowned brands. If you're designing or developing projects that are more business oriented, Referral can be a great source of inspiration for nice looking UI and UX that big companies and startups use. They have a vast list of elements and honestly, it's a fantastic source for design research and designing for user experience. And finally, a super hidden gem that I've discovered recently from Juxtapose is Stack Sorted. Somewhat similar to Referral, but this one focuses more on highly interactive UI elements and honestly, it's a very good source to not only get inspiration for design, but also a fantastic source to practice your development skills by recreating these UI elements listed on this site. This site also gets updated every week, so there will be new UI elements for every of these categories. Have I told you that you can find great web design inspiration other than these digital resources? Let's talk about physical resources. I personally love using magazines as sources of color or layout inspiration for my web, web projects. And no, you don't have to buy magazines. You can find a lot of magazines you can look at at bookstores, clothing stores, or even shopping malls. Since I'm a big minimalist guy, I love looking through at Uniqlo's magazine. They have great type, layouts, and colors that I can reference for my web projects. Yep, that's all for the resources and to be honest with you, gathering all these resources are just the beginning steps of your project. The most important part is how you use these inspirational websites and transform it into your own unique website. Before designing a project, I like to spend my time creating a mood board from the inspirations that I've collected to grasp the general style of the website. I also play around with some of the website inspiration to evaluate whether it's easy to navigate or find information on the websites that way you can see how you could improve the ux for your project as well there's so much more to using inspiration for your web design project from analyzing colors layouts and even user flow so i have a video coming up soon breaking down the process on how i use several inspirations to design a website so make sure to subscribe to see that video in the future to be real with you you don't need a whole cargo of resources for web inspiration i've learned from austin cleon that Creativity is subtraction. So in my opinion, just have one to two go-to resources that you can rely on and balance between them every now and then to look for your inspiration. 
I personally don't use Behance or Dribbble anymore, it's just too much and it's really hard to find what you're looking for specifically. I personally think that using resources such as referral or awards is much better since those websites are actually used in the real world. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you do your thing down there and let me know in the comments if I've missed anything. And I'd also love to hear what are your go-to inspiration resources as well. But by the meantime, if you want to check out my other videos, make sure to click these blocks here. But yeah, that's it. See ya.